Oh my god. This is a crazy scene. This is the Temple of Man. Uh, thank you for checking out part three of That Dragon Cancer. If you've missed the previous parts, I'll give you a card for them right now. And if you are tuning in for the first time in part three, I should say, guys, this is a serious game. Narrative driven and already making me tear up and we're only part of the way through this thing. Um, let's go. There, oh. The first two parts have been really uh, powerful, depicting cancer in a unique way and telling a bit of the story of this family, the Greens. Parents, Joel and Amy, uh, whose son, her parents, Ryan and Amy, whose son Joel is undergoing treatment for that dragon cancer. And they're hoping that he gets to go home soon. His whole body's vibrating in this MRI. Or brain scans. Hey, it's you again. Hi, buddy. I love you, my friend. Oh. Hey. This is my favorite game. Do you want to see? Let's play. Yeah, That's yeah. Let's start it. Okay. Yeah, he can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fun. Do you like it? And a big lion comes. You know a scary lion? It's so loud. Okay. I can roar just like him. Yeah, hear me roar. Bring it on, buddy. Wow! Oh, that's cute. Don't be afraid. You might want to cover your ears. Okay. That is a big roar. Here comes the animals. Tears rolls is my favorite. Who is? Oh wow, guys, what is this cr crazy visual landscape? Lions and stars and dogs in the constellations? How neat. And that's a giraffe? Yeah, yeah. Here, look at this. The giraffe. Or a horse. He's riding the horse. And let's try this one. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one. Ride the dog. <laughs> there we go. A lot of neat scenes in this game so far. Waking up. That is Amy, Joel's mom. She's singing to him. Mathis Dewey. Died at the age of 10. I thought these were get well cards. Hugs to all my UIHC kids and families. Okay, that one is. To my hero. Oh, 
Bradley Stewart lived to the age of four. These are people to everyone who's ever died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother. Rest in peace. Hank, Marsha, and all the rest of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever's become of you, you are presently better off than you were at the end of your life. We miss you. God, there's so many. Amy? This terrible routine. Watching you. Waiting for you to wake. Hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here. Show you your tiny handprints on the wall and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Right. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. That's hope. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You let him go. Leave it behind. God. Ow. Joel. These are bigger. Katie. More Joel. Aiden. Cooper. Kyle. Those don't have a name. Oh, where'd we go? Cancer, right there. Always right there. Let's go. Playing this game isn't gonna be easy and uh, I'll try to do my best not to just shut up and let the game do all the talking for me. There are cards everywhere. For my three-year-old self, you ain't seen nothing yet. That is a message from a survivor, I think. Dad, Aunt Mary, and Jake, I miss you all. It's still out there, eh? Leave it behind. Let's keep going. God, look at all these cards. Are these messages? Joshua, stay strong, little man. Mommy and Daddy love you. Some messages of hope this time around, I hope. Mm. Hope and just messages. I don't have the emotional willpower to read all these guys, so let's carry on to the end of the hall here. Because I, like I said, I don't think I can read all these. We miss you and love you, yeah, of course. This open door looks cancer. Get lost. We don't have time for you here. Sorry, guys. It's not good. Last thing that they will want to hear right about now, I can imagine. Mom? Hi, buddy. Uh, boink. Mom? <laughs> Mom? Mom? Farmer Bill makes the pigs bacon for breakfast. <laughs> what? Pigs don't eat bacon. <laughs> Former Bill plays fetch with the pig. <laughs> I bet he does. Let's make him laugh if that. Former Bill enjoys a mud bath with the pig. <laughs> Farmer Bill's a bit of a weird dude. <laughs> Is that? Former Bill scratches the pig's chinny chin chin. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's moving. Give me something that's not a pig. Former Bill gives the pigs piggyback rides. <laughs> I guess all we can do is make him laugh. We're just sitting here waiting. <laughs> yeah, no problem, buddy. Those mischievous pigs are napping on Farmer Bill's couch. 
<laughs> the pigs wash the dishes after supper. <laughs> yeah, he loves pigs. Farmer Bill separates the sheep from the goats. Sheep go to heaven. Goats go to town. <laughs> oh, those are the sheep up there? I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. It is. I can, I can face it. Cortex. I can size it up. It's quite small at this point, but unfortunately, the size isn't terribly important. God. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. And? This is a tragedy. Um. Amy? I've imagined it a lot, but not like this. Of course not. It's different. I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. I guess this is shock. I can't continue to give him? That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options. That so am I. There's no curative treatment options, Doc. What you thinking? We're very good at end of life care. What does that mean? We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. What? How long are we talking about? Does that about? mean it's over? Prediction time again. No matter what I say, they'll wish it was longer. But sometimes longer is worse. A few weeks to maybe four months. Right. Very good at end of life care. Thaddeus. Isn't Nick crying? How long are we talking about? How am I going to hold it together now? Nick. A few weeks to maybe four months. Okay. Go back to Ryan, I guess. Science, it's simpler. Where's Joel? I got A. B and subtract C and I get this result and I can do something to control it. Or oh god I have the sense that I'm controlling it. But now all we have left is a miracle. And miracles are miracle. Yeah. They don't always come and we don't always know why. What if Joel's miracle doesn't come? I, I hope he lives. I've always hoped. Now I can't do anything but hope. Right. Oh, radiation. At least we can do something. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. Hope is for something someone else has to do for us. And when doctors can't, well, invisible Jesus must. We're so sorry. Oh my God. I'll just cut out all the parts of me blowing my nose and wiping my eyes. We'll take one more look from Amy's perspective here. Oh, God, I do not want a replacement baby. If that was your plan, I am not on board. I don't want some new baby to help me move on. I would not have chosen it. Oh, God. 
angel has to live or I will not love this baby. I'm sorry guys, it's not good. Oh my god. This is a crazy scene. Well, it's in the color of the And it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size of the tragedy is no more. Any return means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. A tragedy. I'm sorry, buddy. So you're going through this. We are just adrift. There's nothing I can do. The audio is so loud right now. End of life care. I remember. Buddy? Buddy? Jesus. Where are, hey. You okay, buddy? Adrift. Guys, thank you for watching the game up till this point. I'm going to take a break. I uh, hope you enjoyed this part, and uh, I'll be back with the next part in this story tomorrow.